वेलकम बैक गाइस वेलकम टू न्यू सेशन फ्रॉम शोमुस बायोलॉजी एंड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन इन कंसेक्यूटिव वीडियोस वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एनिमल सेल कल्चर एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स दैट आई हैव बीन गेटिंग मोर रिक्वेस्ट्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट्स बट लेट्स स्टार्ट मेकिंग वीडियोस ऑन एनिमल सेल कल्चर बिकॉज दिस इज द पार्ट व्हिच इज नॉट रियली एक्सप्लोइटेड टिल नाउ फ्रॉम शोमुस बायोलॉजी एंड फ्रॉम एनी अदर uh i mean youtubers or youtube uh, video providers so let's begin with uh, animal cell culture now in this whole set of videos we'll be talking the basics of animal cell culture i am again telling you i'll be talking only about the basics that means uh, the abcds of animal cell culture i'm not talking about uh, the those uh, i mean practical aspects of animal cell culture now for now on we'll be talking and only understanding the principles of cell culture what is going on inside why cell culture is important and what are the different terminologies of cell culture and the what are different types of cells and uh, more importantly about certain part of uh, practical cell culture that is the media and their growth and all this part okay so let's begin with this first video this is going to be the introductory video about cell culture and cell culture or tissue culture whenever we talk about cell or tissue culture that thing are kind of you know related they are they are kind of very same in many aspects actually they have many important similarities between them now uh, in that case it can be plant or it can be animal we have videos on plant tissue culture you can see all those videos on plant tissue culture in my youtube channel you can go there see a lot of videos on plant tissue culture are there but the animal tissue culture is uh, different from plant tissue culture in many ways and we'll be talking about those differences here and also other terminologies to start with so for for the first thing that the animal tissue culture or animal cell culture that we are going to talk about animal meals in this case we mean eukaryotic animals because prokaryotic cell culture is easier it's simply the uh, prokaryotes means mostly it is covered by bacteria and the bacterial culture we have already talked before about bacterial culture how to culture it and all the different aspects of microbiological processes but in this case animal tissue culture that is the eukaryotic animal tissue culture is far more complicated than the prokaryotic cell culture because you know eukaryotic cells have much more complicated cell morphology they have much more uh, complicated requirements for their growth so for all these reasons uh we need to be very careful to talk about this uh, animal tissue culture their animal uh, cell culture it is much more complicated it is much more vulnerable to contaminations and so that we need to you know prepare all these things uh, for beginning now for the first thing or first for the beginning we must know some terminologies about the animal tissue culture and cell culture that is what is tissue culture what is cell culture what is organ culture because these are the three things that you are going to see coming again and again so you know cell culture is there tissue culture is there and organ culture is also there you know the names are kind of very important because they are suggesting uh, what they actually are you know cell culture when we talk about cell culture uh, it means you know in any kind of culture process that we deal with any kind of culture process it means we try to establish a situation in vitro in such a way so that cells or tissue or organ can grow that is what we are talking about because you know cells tissue or organ whatever we are talking here all of these materials you know cells tissues or organs they are actually present in a living organism right so we have our living organism we have living organism inside the living organism we have all of them we have uh, you know organs if we break down this organ we'll get tissue if we break down the tissue we'll get cells so we are having everything inside right so we, we can take the cells are the unique part of the living organism we all know that so we can take the unique part and take them in vitro and we let them grow in vitro it convert it into the cell culture we can take this tissue which is not the unique part of an uh, eukaryotic organism but it is made up with cells right slightly i mean more cells i mean complex i mean say four or five different types of cells same types of cell but number of cells are higher so say 50 cells of same type we can take and we can also put in vitro that will give us tissue culture we can take the organ directly and we can allow it to grow in vitro 
it will give us organ culture but remember as we going from cells to organs the thing is becoming much more complicated because you know for growing one cell or two cells that you will take is kind of much more easier than growing a whole organ because you know if we look at the complexity level of a eukaryotic body from the unit level to the macro level as we going towards the macro level from the cell to tissue to organ it is becoming complicated right so once we are talking about simple cells cells that produce insulin we can take that cell we can grow them in vitro we have a certain level of complexity now once we try to get some tissue that produce that insulin which in that case the insulin production will be more because we take a chunk of those cells which can produce insulin in that case the complexity slightly increases but now if we take the whole organ that is pancreas right to grow pancreas in the media in that case the complexity increases because as we increase this hierarchy of physiology it becomes much more complicated it requires much more thing for development of one cell the oxygen supply is less right so so the supplement that we need to provide is much more much much smaller in case of cells and it is much bigger for in case of complete organ growth right so organ culture though there but still it is much more complicated process and very hard to establish right so if we begin with from the from the beginning at the cell culture cell culture is by very basic because you know we can put them in a media where we can grow so the idea is we are taking the cell or organ or tissue from an individual from an organism eukaryotic organism we put it into the artificial media right we are placing them into the artificial media and we allow it to grow so what should that media contain that artificial media where we are placing all of these things so let me write here artificial media say in a petri dish we are having that artificial media so that artificial media should contain all the necessary ingredients for supporting a cell to grow right because cells require food and the food for the cell will be nitrogen source should be there right there should be salts i mean minerals of different kind for maintaining osmolarity and for keeping the other activities of the cell intact there and also we require other we require a carbon source of course so these are the food sources that we require in this medium which can support actually which can support the growth of those cells or tissue of animal that we take and we put them to grow so these are the features that we require in the in vitro condition and that's what we are creating in in vitro condition for the growth of tissues and cells or organs inside right but if we are keeping cells only we require carbon nitrogen source salts and all these things and it, it is easy to grow because cells don't require any you know direct supply of oxygen in that way we can put the medium in such a way so that oxygen is freely available so that cell can take similarly if we take for tissue culture that thing is also true we put them into the media we can make the media you know we can make it solid we can make it liquid generally the animal cell culture media that we are going to see are most of the times a liquid and even if it's not liquid it's kind of semi solid in nature but not completely solid in that case because many of these cells tends to grow on the surface of uh, those medium right and some of them tends to grow in the bottom attached to the ground or attached to the solid surface of the media now in this case if we are growing organ there in that case we need to continuously supply oxygen there right via blood or plasma so we require blood or plasma for supplying to the organ that is placed in vitro right so that's why the organ culture is slightly more complicated and actually not slightly it's it's kind of very complicated process so these are in a sense of what these different things mean cell culture tissue culture organ culture and all these things actually mean right and uh, in that case uh, another thing i must say that in organ culture uh, it, you know 
uh, continuous uh, supplement is provided via blood because blood you know in, in eukaryotic cells in eukaryotic body blood is acting like a carrier of all of these things so we can allow them to grow like that so this in a sense what we try to establish in cell line culture tissue culture now after we know all these things the second thing we want to know is what are cell lines what are cell strains and how we differentiate or distinguish between those things and what are the different types of you know, cell, uh, cell culture that are available now. So let's talk about them in the future videos.